The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, uh, good afternoon. Thank you for joining me for the FXCM um, education webinar. My name is Shaleen uh, Chendume. I'm currently working for FXCM South Africa. Today I'm here to provide you some exciting information about FXCM um, education, which is going to be very beneficial for you in the future. Before we start, I'll go through the risk disclaimer. Okay, before we go to the risk disclaimer, kindly follow us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com um, slash FXCM South Africa, or on twitter.com FXCM South Africa, or on youtube.com uh, FXCM ZA Forex. Now we'll move over to the risk disclaimer. Please note that past performance is not indicative of future results. Examples are displayed for illustrative purposes only and do not guarantee profits. Trading on margin can result in losses that may exceed your deposited funds. Please ensure that you fully understand the risks or seek investment advice if necessary. FXCM provides an execution-only service. Any analysis, opinion, um, commentary or research-based material contained in this presentation is for information and educational purposes only and is not intended to be an offer, recommendation or solicitation to buy or sell. Leverage is a double-edged sword and can dramatically amplify your profits. It can also just as dramatically amplify your losses. Trading for an exchange with any level of leverage may not be suitable for all investors. The webinar does not have regard to specific investment objectives, financial situation, and needs of any specific person who may receive it. All videos are provided for educational purposes only and clients should rely should not rely on the content or policies as they may differ with regard to the entity that you're trading with. Further, any opinion, analysis, prices or other information contained on the website is provided for educational purposes and does not constitute investment advice. FXCM will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, which may arise directly or indirectly from use of reliance on such information. Okay, um, so we've just gone through our risk disclaimer. Now we're going to start our education webinar. Okay. All right. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so to continue with our, um, our webinar, for you to access your education material, you need to go on um, fxcm.za.com and you click on education as I've just done. Okay, the purpose of this webinar is to provide education for beginners and beyond about the basics, um, techniques and strategies for Forex trading. Okay, it is also to offer instrument guides in order to fully optimize Forex trading. Okay, it is also to provide um, learning opportunity for the trader both in-house and off-house through seminars and webinars. At FXCM we offer educational material 
and facilitate learning through the live classroom, FXCM University, trading guides, seminars, and video libraries. We've also got um, a YouTube channel. Feel free to also subscribe to, to view our videos, educational videos on YouTube. And um, yes, so that's the other platform that we have for you to learn. Okay, so we're going to start off by looking at the live classroom. So basically when we're talking about live classroom, it's like a free, free online webinar. So with the live classroom, it's when we cover webinars which can be attended from home. During a webinar, active participation is done with other attendees and the instructor. So basically all you need to do in order to participate is a good internet connection, right, and a good computer. As you can see, we've got several um, webinars that have been set up for the week to come, and most of them happen at 5, same time, 5 p.m. on a daily basis, okay? On Monday, we've got myself uh, taking you through uh, the Educational Tools work through, and then on Tuesday, we've got Psychology of Trading being conducted by Anu Makunike. Then on Wednesday, I've got the MetaTrader 4 walkthrough being conducted by George Mlandenov. And then on Thursday, I've got my FXCM walkthrough being conducted by Noctula Magome. We've also got um, on Fridays, we've got Trading Station Platform walkthrough being conducted by Tsiamo. Okay, so if you'd like to take part in any of the South African FXCM um, webinars, all you do is click there, right, and you'll be redirected to the page where you can then enter your information, right. So all you have to do is to click first name, you put your first name like I'm doing right now, um, last name, Your email address, my email address, is cchintome at fxcm.za.com. Then you put the city that you're currently residing in. And then you also put your number. And you join the webinar. And you set to attend the webinar. And then um, also, um, we've got international, we've got webinars happening globally. Um, you can also attend trading station and tiered margin walkthroughs, uh, volume indicators, uh, trades of successful trades using the Fibonacci's in your trading. All this you can also access in our live classroom. All right. We move over to FXCM University. With FXCM University, um, this was put together by our trading analysts as a place where you can get information you need to start making investment choices in the worldwide currency trading market. With FXCM University, we go over a litany of the factors that impact price movements in the forex markets. Okay. The content has been organized by level of difficulty, starting with the level 1 and ending with the level 4. Right, so with the level 1, this is the freshman year, right? And uh, basically for you to access information, you just end up having to click on freshman year, like what I've done. So for the level 1, you're looking at the basics uh, being taken, basics and set for foundation for your trading education. It is very important that um, new traders are familiar and comfortable with the basics which are taught in the freshman year, such as what is Forex. Right, let's go to the freshman year. Okay, such as um, what is Forex, right? So some people just uh, sign up for, uh, they start trading Forex, but they don't know what Forex is exactly. So in the freshman year, you're actually introduced to what is Forex and you're welcome to the Forex 
market, right? So, suppose you want more information regarding what is Forex, it's further explained here as you can see, what is the Forex market, what is done, which is simply the buying and selling of currencies and it's one of the fastest growing markets in the world. So Forex is just simply buying and selling of currencies. Okay, so someone maybe have been used to trading stocks, when they look at Forex trading it works simply the same, you buy low and you sell high, same principle with Forex. Alright, um, so basically that's what we look at and comparing a Forex market with your equity market, Forex doesn't need you to do a lot of analysis of a company, if, um, analyzing the company, its sector, its you know thousands of companies, um, it's just buying what is there, the currency that is there and selling what is there. Plus you can make even things um, simpler than choosing from which company to buy, so it's not like comparing which company to buy, just buying and selling the type of forex that you want to buy. Alright, perfect. Um, uh, we also go to, sorry, we also go to this concept, um, what is leverage, oh, sorry, we also look at currency names and symbols, understanding the forex majors, cross pairs, Euro USD, GPP, USD, Australian dollar, USD, so it's all about understanding the forex majors as well. Okay, so that's what you're also introduced to in the freshman year, right? And then we move over to what is leverage, there we go. So this is explained fully um, in the freshman year. So leverage, margin, what is margin? This is a collateral that is put to hold a position for your trade, right? Uh, some people confuse it as a fee for a trader but it's actually not a transaction cost. It's, a, it's like a deposit, it's a good faith deposit that's put um, as collector in order to trade. Alright, um, so basically as the trader's trade size increases, your margin requirement will also increase as well, okay? Um, so it's like the more, the bigger the size of your trade, the more collateral, the more margin you have to put because of the bigger size of the trade. Then leverage, leverage is the byproduct of the margin right, of the collector that you would have put through because once you put your collector, what you're basically saying is that you are allowing an individual to control larger trades of trades of um, sizes of trades. So a trader will use this tool as a way to magnify their returns. But on the other hand, take note that leverage is a double-edged sword, though it can be used to amplify your profits. It can also be used against you and actually amplify your losses. So people should be made aware of the uh, effects that leverage has on their trades. Um, trading larger lot sizes through leverage can ratchet up your gains, but still, sorry, excuse me, but ultimately can lead to larger losses if a trader moves against you. Okay. Below we can see this concept in action by being hypothetical trading scenarios. Let's assume, um, so that's just an example that's further explained, we won't go through that because of our time. And then, um, so after we've covered that, we also have risk reward, introduction to risk management, covering margin and, um, sorry, margin leverage, trade sizes, order types, right? We've got entry orders and stop orders. When we're looking at orders, we've got the market orders and entry orders and stops. What is a market order? Market order is this is an order that is placed um, 
according to what the market what's happening in the market so basically um, what can I say this means if you want to get into the market immediately you can take you can trade a market order and be entered at a preferring price so what's happening is you're trading you're buying or selling at the current uh, prevailing price with the entry order you're not using the current prevailing market price um, because you, you're setting away from the present price you're look, looking at the prices if prices okay if price trades at the price selected the entry will enter the market and open a new position right so it's being it's like an order is being placed outside the prevailing price um, so basically that's what we have then stops we also have stops um, and limits right and um, these you can also use uh, basically in your trades as well as a way of managing um, your risk okay um, yeah so basically that's what we have on the freshman year we move over to the level two um, which is the um, sophomore year with the sophomore year it's a level two you're beginning to learn more about the roles of economics economic data movements and um, how interest rates impact the forex market uh, this covers fundamental analysis and technical analysis, sentimental analysis as well. So basically, we look at how in interest rates impact your forex when you're trading forex. Um, for example, let's take for example, um, suppose a country increases their interest rates, people within that country may find it very expensive to borrow money because they'll have to return their borrowed money with the high interest rates right but with people coming outside the country um, you find that interests actually attract foreign investors to actually come and invest in that country so though interest rates may be causing people in that country to actually not invest on the other hand people from outside the country can actually come and um, invest because they're getting lucrative they're being attracted but the high interest rates being offered for that currency okay and then after we cover that we then um, go over to the um, level three forex charts and market conditions okay um, so basically um, this is for the junior year and we'll look at that just now right this is when a student utilizes the education and concepts from freshman and sophomore in the real world the student makes use of psychology candlestick analysis the student is basically being prepared for the senior school okay so basically in the junior year this is when your charts, the charts of course they were introduced in the first year but we're now looking at the candlestick use when uh, actually trading with the charts. So as you can see the charts um, are further explained on how you can actually make an analysis of the candlesticks used in the charts. As you can see we've got your double tops here and the double bottoms there so that's how your, your candlesticks get your chart can actually be used to determine if certain currency is having a double top or double bottom okay and depending if whether it's a two-hour chart or or any other one month whatever it is this is actually used uh, to determine the the volatility of the currency that's being traded okay and then we have um, how to build a strategy you also taught how you can build a strategy as a trader in order to be successful in the forex market um, you also taught on trading the doji five different types of doji hand and shoulder bullish hammer shooting star these are different types of pattern that you can actually make use of when you're actually trading. All right.
Mm -hmm. So we also have uh, trader psychology, as you can see. Um, as you're trading, you also may you may end up having uh, uh, challenges, losses. You also taught on how you can manage your losing trades. So as a client, you need to familiarize your as a trader, you need to familiarize yourself with the techniques on how you can manage losing trades. And um, I won't go much into this because this is going to be covered tomorrow by Anu Makunike. Mm, so, excuse me. So that's basically it. So um, don't allow one single trade idea to ruin your career. So basically these are the main points that you need to consider on how to manage um, losing trades. Set your risk at the outset of the trade. Right, plan a stop on the trade. Stops really help to uh, to reduce uh, the risks uh, of you actually facing a trade loss. Um, so that if prices move against you while you're away, you are protected because you've set a stop. So that when a certain price is reached, um, the execution won't be taken for that trade. Accept the floating losses are still losses, only they have not been realized, okay? And uh, so basically with trades, prevention is the best better. Um Try to avoid trading losses altogether, right? Uh, so prevention is the best way. Acceptance, once you've made a loss, uh, dust yourself up and um, continue trading. Because a floating loss is still a loss, it just hasn't been realized yet. Because sometimes as clients, as traders, um, you feel that a floating loss is actually a loss, yet that it has just not been um, um, realized. Okay. Then after that, we move over to, um, so tomorrow, uh, trader psychology is going to be covered more. And uh, feel free to register for the psychology uh, webinar. Okay, and then we move over to senior year, right? As you can see, the senior year this is the final stage of the FXCM University. This is where the trader is taught how to create their trading plan. How to trade in differing market conditions and generally integrating the fundamental concepts. Risk management is taught in this year and is very important before the student can find success in trading. Okay, so, um, so in the senior year, basically, um, the, the traders Risk management is further advanced, further explained on how a client, how a trader can actually have trades of successful forex traders, right? How you can actually become very successful as a forex trader when you actually go out into the real world, right? Because you know, with this, after this, you're now actually going out to do the actual trading yourself. So you need trades, you need um, strategies and how best you can be able to actually go out and trade. Then risk management also covers how much capital should you should trade with, how much um, capital should you trade with. It's also covered there. Then we also have um, trade management, the professional versus amateur rejection um, reaction to a losing trade. Then trailing stop trade management. Trading um, trends by trailing stops with price uh, swings and we also um, you also thought of the different indicators that you can actually use and whether you should stake your indicators or not uh, in the final year how to and how you can make use of the Fibonacci as a leading indicator is also covered there I won't go much into this detail feel free to click on them and get more information regarding this um, in the senior year. It's very educative because of our time, I won't go through uh, much of this. All right, um, so now we move over to um, trading guides.
right okay what are trading guides trading guides are sent online to clients it's like a soft copy of um, material study material that you can actually use in order to get to understand more a certain topic or um, platform just to get more information about a certain platform. So this is sent to you uh, for free via email and uh, basically what you need to do um, in order to get this formation is to write your name like I'm doing and put your surname and your email and your country and your phone number alright and this will be sent to you just click submit alright feel free to send me an email if you have any questions or if you have any contributions uh, feel free to send me an email or write a chat as we we'll continue with this webinar alright um, so basically we have new to Forex Guide, which is for those people who have just jump-started their um, experience in trading and they want to understand diff, um, basic terms used in Forex, how they can invest in Forex, just for basics, this is for beginners. And then we also have Trades to Successful Traders. This can be used by both beginners or advanced people, experienced people, who maybe have been facing um, losses and they want to improve and find out how best they can be able to be successful um, and improve their strategy on forex trading then from for stocks to forex this is for people who may be dealing with forex sorry with equities and they want to actually understand more about the forex capital markets then we also have the trading station guide this is very important for people so then they can also understand, um, for those people who want to understand the platform, the trading station, this is quite important. And we also have the Algo Trading um, Resource Guide. And lastly, we've got the Market Scanner Guide, which is also used to identify potential buying or selling opportunities. Okay. Um, we go further to seminars. So basically with seminars, seminars are conducted here in Johannesburg at our offices, right? Why do we do those seminars? Why do we carry out seminars? This is to allow an opportunity for you to actually meet our local staff who will give you essential tools to start trading. We currently offer seminars here, right? So this allows you to actually come in, meet our local staff. If questions, they help you, if you have problems with your platform, they actually assist you on that and they take you through like a classroom setup, one-on-one, -on -one, you actually see them presenting. It's a physical um, way of actually educating the trader. Okay, so basically um, what you need to do if you want to sign up for this is simply register like what we've been doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you put your number. And you put the date, the one you want to rent, register, the age, trading experience, like that, and you submit. Okay. So currently, um, this is what we have for the seminars. For those people in Durban and Cape Town, please note that we'll be coming there uh, shortly. Feel free to also keep a look on our website. We'll be coming through for you um, because we've lot, got a lot of audience, we've got a lot of traders who have been requesting that we come to Cape Town and Durban. Okay, then we also have video libraries. Video libraries um, are used to explain different types of um, chats. Different, it's like what a video library is—a collection of videos that are used for educational purposes at FXCM. 
So the, these collections start from Forex Basics, Platform Functionality, um, Trading Strategies, Account Support, and many more things are put, um, are explained in the video library. So it's simply a video. You actually see how someone is carrying out a set, how they are placing a market order. Then for you to be reading it, you're actually seeing it how exactly they're doing. It's a practical part, which is also being shown there. Okay, so you can also show on how to create a report, adding currency. Price. It's so understandable. Basically, this information is there for you and that to educate you. Feel free to make use of it and understand it. Then you've got the YouTube. Uh, we also offer YouTube videos for our traders. You can access them as they provide visual and audio aid to our trader. Um, so for the YouTube, you simply go on YouTube. Um, there we go. Right, when you get to YouTube, you just say FXM South Africa. There we go. And you come here. Perfect. So once you're there, our webinars, our recorded webinars are there, as you can see. FXCM Plus Walkthrough, FXCM Trading Station, sorry, um, MetaTrader 4 Walkthrough, and my FXCM Walkthrough. All these are there uh, for you to actually get some assistance. Forex Trading Basics, Fractional, everything is explained and in video, just almost similar to our video library. So you can actually access this on our YouTube channel. Okay. And then, so basically this is uh, all I had for you for education uh, presentation. Uh, thank you very much for joining me for this webinar. Feel free uh, to contact me on my email at Sean Elia. I can see there are no questions on the window. Feel free to send me emails and I will respond accordingly. Okay, everyone. Uh, have a good evening and thank you very much. Bye.